Space Exploration by Jacob Jenkins and Dylan Kayser. Table of Contents. The pros of space exploration, the cons of space exploration, president during the Challenger explosion, his speech, quiz, answer sheet, and reference. The pros. We can explore the other worlds outside of our own. And another good thing about space exploration is the scientific studies that can lead to medical advances. The cons. Space exploration can be very dangerous to our economy. It costs $500 million to do just one shuttle flight. Back in the first days of flight, the shuttle would experience mal shuttles would experience malfunctions, usually leading to death. The space shuttle called the Challenger ended in a dramatic fight with the nature of the day. The specific shuttle came down in flames a few minutes after it took off. The amount of money put into these flights are, is dangerous because we may never know the outcome. President Reagan's speech. I will read this since it is hard to see off the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I plan to speak to you tonight to report on the State of the Union, but the events of earlier today have led me to change those plans. Today is a day for mourning and remembering. Nancy and I are pained to, to the core by tragedy, the tragedy of the shuttle of Challenger. We know we, are, we share this pain with all the people of our country. This is truly a nation, national loss. Nineteen years ago, almost to the day, we lost three astronauts in a terrible accident on the ground. But we, we've never lost an astronaut in flight. We've never had a tragedy like this. And perhaps we've forgotten the courage it took for the crew of the shuttle. But they, the Challenger 7, were aware of the dangers, but, o but overcame them and did their job brilliantly. We mourn se seven heroes, Michael Smith, Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Allison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista McAuliffe. We mourn their loss as a nation together. To the families of the seven, we cannot bear, as you do, the full impact of this tragedy. But we feel the loss, and we're thinking about you so very much. Your loved, were daring, your loved, your loved ones were daring and brave, and they had the special grace, that special spirit that says, "Give me, give me a challenge, and I'll meet it with joy." They had a hunger to explore the universe and discover its truths. They wished to serve, and they did. They served all of us. We've grown, grown used to used to wonders in this century. It's hard to dazzle us, but for 20, 25 years, the United States space pro, space program has been doing just that. We've grown Challenger. They the members of the Challenger crew were pioneers. Now, all I want to say is something to the school children of America, who or watching the, to the live coverage of the shuttle's takeoff. I know it's hard to understand, but sometimes painful things like this happen. It's all part of the process of exploration and discovery. It's all part of taking chances and expanding man's horizon. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted, it belongs to the brave. The Challenger crew was pulling us into the future and we'll continue to follow them. And uh... That, that was some of Reagan's speech, and I'm going to take you to the quiz. Alright, who was the president during the Challenger explosion? What is the cost of each space launch? What is the main reason why we explore space, and who was the first man on the moon? And why is it important for safety precautions? I'll give you 10 seconds to read those over. The answers. First president, or the president during the time was President Ronald Reagan, and the cost of each shuttle was a minimum of five hundred million dollars, and we we would uh, visit outside of our own world to find the worlds outside of our own, and uh, 
the first astronaut was, was uh, astronaut Neil Armstrong, and the last one was to prevent for space disasters such as space shuttle explosions. And our references. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it.